What is going on guys, the Source Fox here today, back again bringing you another video and as I said, we're starting a brand new Football Manager 2017 save and as you can see it is with Atletico Madrid in the Liga Santander or the BBVA as most people call it. So as you, we did, we have ended the Blackburn save as we did lose our job. So I decided to start fresh, 2016, updated database. I'll just show you, because Dimitri Payet, he's at Leon. Depay, is that, no oh, sorry, yeah. Payet is at Marseille, Depay is at Leon, And yeah, you get the idea, transfers have been updated. So, let's get into things. We have about to play the first game of the season in this episode. We're going to play the first two games of the season actually, which they'll be coming shortly. So, just going to say now there was no transfer business done as we only have four and a half million pounds and we got 169,000 free in the wages. If you actually look at the finances over the course of the year, so far we're only a couple of months in and we're already in debt. We had about five, we've lost about 10 million pounds. And yeah, I don't know how it's happened. It's probably the fact of bought like loads of staff members in at to pay loads of compensation fees. But it's worth it as we've got the best defence, best attack, best fitness, mental, technical scout well for coaching and we've got best scouts and the best physios. So I suppose it's worth it just to improve that, but like I said we haven't particularly made any signings. So if you actually look at the staff, we brought in three coaches, including Nemanja Vidic, just because we brought him in as a defending, well, to improve the defending, as he is a legend. We brought in the legendary Ryan Giggs, just because why the hell not, he was unemployed, let's give him an opportunity abroad that he hasn't got so far. So yeah, as a United fan, it's nice to bring Giggs and Vidic in. And then we've just brought in three, three physios, quite a few scouts, an under 19s manager, a couple of fitness coaches, a goalkeeping coach, under, yeah, yeah, as you can see, a new head of youth development, under 19s sports scientist. And of course, a few players have gone, two scouts gone, head of youth development got replaced, and two fitness coaches have gone. And of course, we have replaced Diego Simeone. So the first two games, the first one, which we will be playing right now in a moment is Alaves recently promoted team to the Liga Santander at the Vincente Calderon then our second game is away against Leganes another promoted team but unfortunately that is away at the Butarque however you want to say that stadium but af after this first game we do have the Champions League draw which we'll be looking forward to also these are the real fixture list for well, just for the first year, as Atletico Madrid would have them currently in real life now. So let's actually just let's take a quick, as we haven't done any transfers personally, let's just take a quick look at some of the transfers that have, have happened in the league so far. Got Jefferson Montero going to Osasuna on loan for the for the season, I'm guessing. A few players, Malaga have loaned out a player, Cordoba, yeah. As you can see, just looking at what could really affect us. Cuco Martin has been loaned out to Malaga, not to Malaga, to Alaves, sorry. So, as you know, we are playing Alaves at the moment. So, not a lot of transfers have happened, but we are only still in August and about to start the season. So, let's get into this game against Alaves at the Vincente Calderon. So, the lineups today. In goal, we have Oblak left back well for the wing backs we got Felipe Luis and Juan Fran we got Godin and Jimenez as the centre halves we've got Gaitan going up and down this left hand side we've got Carrasco going up the right and we've got Koke and Saul in the middle and we've got Griezmann and Kevin Gamero up top I'm trying to stick well as you can see the tactic is Diego Simeone 4-4-2 I have downloaded that so hopefully that can be effective for the season as you can see on the bench, we've got Moya, Savic, Lucas, Augusto, Zerchi, Angel Correa, and Fernando Torres. And 
Alaves are playing a 5-4-1 defensive formation, of course. They're recently promoted, so they're going to do anything they can to survive, basically. So let's get into it. This is the new Atletico Madrid badge as well, which will be happening. Because just, just, to know, just to point that out, if it is different on certain things, but that is the new badge. So let's get into things. So half an hour in, not a lot has happened. We're on the ball here. Carrasco has played it to Gamero, who's dropped a bit deep. Given it to Saul, to Antoine Griezmann. Good ball out wide to Felipe Luis. Puts it across. Quite a poor ball that was, but Saul's got it on the edge of the box. Across to Koke. He's got a good strike on him. If he can hit him, hit him clean. And now Alaves look to go on the attack. We've got a back in position though, which is very good. So hopefully we can have some good solid defending now. And get the ball off this Alaves team. But they're still pushing. Good passes. Davison has had the shot. He wasn't being closed down. And yeah. It's 1-0 in the 31st minute for Alaves. And for a promoted team, we should be pretty embarrassed with that. So we are ball played through. First time strike left foot. Our black probably could have saved it, but it is quite unfortunate. And we're one nil down. We're not going to the game whatsoever. But Alaves have just had a free kick. It's been cleared. Well, they're going to try pushing forward again. Now it's Felipe Luis to go on the counter attack. Here we are with Gaetan though. Not great. Griezmann took a Kevin Gamero through to Yannick Carrasco. He's hit the outside the post, and it's going to be a goal kick as we do look to score at the end of this first half. So we have a corner with Koke, who's put it in the box. It's only gone to Carrasco. Gamero shot blocked. Gaitan shot blocked. Alaves defending for the life, but good to see we've got a chance. We're going forward. Hopefully, we can get back into this game in the second half. So hopefully, I don't want to lose this. My first game in charge, but we got the ball here with Saul to Nico Gaitan. A good effort yet again, another good chance, but he's put it over. So we're going to change things up, we're going to change the tactic. 20 minutes to go, we're going to get everyone on attack because Alaves are only going to be defending. So the more pressure we do put on Alaves, the better. And Anhal Correa will be being subbed on for Nico Nicolas Gaitan. But we got the ball here with Wanfran, who's charging forward. He's lost it to Ibai Camarasa. Let's give it to only give it to Theo. Alaves are probably going to look to keep the ball, waste time. I can't see him really attacking. They're going to try keeping their shape for 20 minutes. But I say that, and they've passed it to Edgar. But Felipe Luis has come across, won the ball well. Now we've got the ball here with Jimenez I'm trying to play at the back. Wanfran. Yannick Carrasco trying to retrain him as a winger, but because he doesn't really play there. Gamero is going forward now as a poacher. Chance blocked. Gaitan chance blocked as well. Koke, can he pick this ball up? He does. It's out wide to Wanfran. Like I said, we're putting all the pressure we can on them. It's Carrasco. Wanfran, ah, see, putting so much pressure on him, but just that lack of quality is not coming through with some of these chances. So, can we defend this? We can with Godin. He's played it forward to Gamero. Koke's got it. Carrasco. The, the system is in place now. Carrasco's charging forward. Chance, not quite there. Correa, out wide to Wanfran. Out to Felipe Luis. Like I said, they're going to defend, defend, defend. And Griezmann's just had a chance. And Pacheco has made the save. Only less than 10 minutes now. Hopefully we can get this goal. So we're going to go on the attack again. Jimenez to Saul to Correa. Out wide to Carrasco. Good ball in, sort of, but couldn't find a man. That's Griezmann. Felipe Luis back to Griezmann. Felipe Luis, ball in the box. Like, they're just defending, defending, defending. Like I keep saying, and I had a chance out from deep, and the keeper saved it again. So they're going to bring on Fernando Torres for Kevin Gamero and Alessio Church on the right, just to see if they can do anything and Wanfram with a corner nothing's come from that but it's only gone to Correa we will find Antoine Griezmann he's had a shot it's blocked Churchy will play it out wide to Correa and Godin has lost the ball will this be a fast counter from Abai from Alaves 
everyone's being dragged to him. All he had to do was put the ball across the box and find that player attacking. But we've done the but we've done well to win that ball. We're still one nil down. We've got another corner. Koke to find Jimenez at the back post. Can't quite get there. Jimenez has gone to pick it up. Juan Fran find Godin to Saul. Will we get this goal? And again, it's another chance blocked. Quality is just not shown today. But we've got the corner. Again, trying to find Jimenez, but Griezmann is deep. It doesn't even look to be running at the ball. But he's got a great passing ability to find Koke and Hal Correa. Griezmann to Felipe Luis. Can we just do anything? A few minutes to go, including stoppage time. Why has he gone to pass it back to Godin? Supposed to be attacking, not playing it back. Chance gone again, and Ibai has got the ball. He's just been quality today for Alaves. But can we go on this counter attack? Correa to Fernando Torres. Out wide to Griezmann. To Churchy. Alessio Churchy has a chance, but Pacheco is keeping Alaves in this game. We've been really unlucky. We've gone forward time after time. But can we seriously get this late goal? If we don't, okay. Nenad Kristic is give away a foul. Can't say his name. But it was Griezmann to take the free kick, who's only played it out wide. Can bit too slow to win the ball and I think but we've got another corner it's been all off since I've changed the tactic which I might have to get the players training in this well with this because we've just been attack 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 and I don't know what Felipe Luis is doing there mistake made and looks like we're going to be punished by lo and lose 1-0 because less than 20 seconds to go Pacheco's only going to waste time really and is it going to be full time? It is. It's Atletico Madrid nil. Alaves won. But, you know, just say the players are unlucky, really. Because it's first game of the season. We're still trying to get over pre season. We're not quite into the season. It's a bit embarrassing to lose to a, re a newly promoted team. Looking at the stats, we had 16 shots, 6 on target. They had 4 shots on target. Well, 4 shots, 2 on target. 1 goal. We had less of the less of the ball completely, but if you look at the stats, we made 81% passes complete. Crossing was absolutely dreadful. You know, average rating just wasn't there. 6.69 to their 7.35, and yeah, we're gonna have to move on to the game against Leganes. But first, we got the Champions League draw. Good news is we've just been given 10.93 million pounds because we will be playing in the Champions League, so that has put us on a positive 5.4 million pounds in the bank balance. So in the Champions League, we will be playing Benfica, PSV, and Borussia, Borussia Gladbach. So the lineup again. Well, for the lineup for the Leganes net game, going to the 4-2-3-1. Change things up as we did change that for the end of the last game. Got a black, Luis, Felipe Luis, Godin, Jimenez, Juan Fran, Koke, Sabal. And how Correa is going to start, Gamero is going to start, Griezmann and Carrasco. And Virgilashko is coming on the bench as backup for Juan Fran. There again, another defensive team, 5 2 2 1. <sighs> Quite a few names I can't really say there. They've got Champagne, Champagne in goal, Rico, Sivioyas, Alberto Martin, Mantovani, Tito, Ruben Perez, Apel Perez, Machis, Alzar, and Luciano up front. So let's get into this game. So straight away, looking positive, Correa's give it to Gamero. Looking positive in terms of going forward, but early chance been wasted. Hopefully that things can continue. But we do have a corner with Koke. Finds Gamero, drops to Antoine Griezmann on the penalty spot. And he's rifled that home in the fifth minute. And we've got a goal. One nil up. Get in there. So we are the ball across the box. Gamero knocks it down. And, kept, and Antoine Griezmann with that rocket of a volley in the top corner. For his first goal of the season. Come on. But Leganes will look to come on the counter. Coming forward. But we've got our positions. We, well, we are positioned very well. 
Jimenez has picked it up. He's tried to find Carrasco, but he's only given it to Rico. Now it's a Pelt Perez. Out wide to Machis. It's a Pelt Perez again. But Correa's done well to come across and win that. And Carrasco's, what a ball that is to find Antoine Griezmann. But Tito has given away a foul. Oh, also, and he has actually just got sent off as well for that poor challenge. We're on the attack. Felipe Luis whips one in. It's been half cleared. It's Antoine Griezmann who finds Koke. And he's only given it straight to Champagne. Look to go on the attack now. Koke has found Felipe Luis who will find Sabal out wide to Antoine Griezmann. Who's Correa's now played out wide to Felipe Luis who's whipped it across the box. And Kevin Gamera should be hitting the target from there. Got another corner. Koke whips it in. Nothing's coming from it. Sawal to Griezmann. Blocked. And another effort has gone, been squandered in the 11th minute. And now Correa will find Antoine Griezmann. Who's going to run forward. Plays it out wide to Juan from the wing back. Can we get anything? Sawal, Griezmann over the bar. And his goal kick to Leganes. Got a chance, Saul Carrasco, Saul again, Griezmann, taking it to the ball and back post, Yannick Carrasco does make it 2-0, get in there, come on, first goal of the season of course, but good sign, we're 2-0 two up, things could be going better. Oh, Griezmann with that run, not sure about this camera angle, but yeah, Carrasco just had to tap it in, and he has. So half time, 2 0 up. Dominated Leganes today. 16 shots, 5 6 on target, something like that. 14 shots, sorry, 6 on target. We had more of the ball. We played that well. Leganes haven't really. I've only had 42% of the ball, but I haven't had a chance yet. 88% pass completion so far to Leganes is 54%. We are really pushing them back, making them defend. But that's what we should be doing. Unfortunately, Yannick Carrasco has picked up a calf strain and I don't think he'll be fit for the second half. So we're going to bring on Churchy, Alessio Churchy, for this role on the right-hand side. So quite a quiet second half, but it's Koke with his free kick. No, sorry, free kick, corner kick. It's only gone out wide, so all, but Koke's got it again. Felipe Luis, Godin, Griezmann, out to Jimenez. It doesn't really matter of the second half if we don't really get nothing from it, but because we're 2 0 up. And I say that Griezmann's just had a rocket of a chance off the crossbar, back off the keeper, and he's managed to keep it out. Got a chance, tried to find a ball in the box, but has been poor, was well, quite a poor delivery. But when out, it's going to just have to revert to a long shot because we've just been able to defend better. So we're going to make some changes. Griezmann's going to play beyond the striker with Fernando Torres and Nico, Nicolas Gaitan's going to come on the left hand side. And yeah, it's been a fairly quiet second half to be honest with you. But we've, we have been all over Leganes. Might as well see this out. Got an opportunity as well. Felipe Luis, Saul, fitness is still quite low. But yeah, Leganes, Leganes clear that. And no one's going to really push for that ball because we're 2 0 up. They've never, they've not been a threat going forward. So just gonna see out the last few seconds of the game. Torres to Gaitan. Poor ball. Well, not really a poor ball. In no one was there to be honest with you, as you can see. And that is it. The referee has blown the whistle full time. It's Leganes nil, Atletico Madrid two. On the four, although we did lose our first game, we're very fortunate to win the second because we've just been the better team. And I'll show you the stats in a moment. Overall, we had 21 shots, 8 on target, 6 off target, 1 clear cut chance. We had more of the ball, and as you can see, Leganes only could salvage 2 shots, not even hitting the target as you saw the 1 long shot earlier. And we've made 87% pass completion with 518 passes, which is quite decent. We only forced Leganes to 278 passes. But cross, we only made 10, really need to work on our cross completion ratio. 10% out of 100, oh, what am I about? 11 crosses out of 109 were successful. That's quite bad. That's probably why we gave the ball away so much. Don't really matter, we won the ball slightly, 
slightly less than the Leganes. But yeah. So we're going to end this episode, the first episode here of the Atletico Madrid save. Well, here's the pre-season results as well. The first game, we could only get a 1-1 draw. Then we lost 1-0 to Newcastle. The assistant manager was in charge for all these. To be perfectly honest with you, we lost 1-0 to Newcastle. Paul Dummett, 93rd minute goal. Beat Braga 3-1 away. Carrasco scored one and Gamero scored twice. We beat Majahan, Majida Honda 2-0. I, before the last friendly and of course this episode I thought we had an unfortunate defeat to Alaves as they did score very well midway through the first half and then we had that great 2-0 victory over Leganes so I'm going to come back and we're going to play Barcelona at the San... well no what the hell am I about we apply, we're gonna do, I can't even speak now we play Barcelona at the Bernabeu oh, why do I keep saying the Bernabeu Camp Nou I've got Real Madrid in my head for some reason so yeah, we will come back and play Barcelona. Haven't made no transfers. Only made one loan outgoing. Transfer window will shut very soon, so that will be ended. That we won't be in that for the next episode. So they yeah, have got a great team. So yeah, we will, we'll come back for Bar to play Barcelona at the Camp Nou this time. It's right there, and I still said the bloody burn about. And we'll play Deportivo La Coruña at the Vicente Calderon. So that's going to be me for this episode. I hope you enjoy the new save of Atletico Madrid and hope you stay tuned for the upcoming episodes so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed and I'm out peace